Praise God. Praise God again. Um, my name is Nancy Warenga. I would like to welcome you to today's service. Uh, let us pray. Heavenly Master, we come before this wonderful morning. We want to thank you because of the gift of life. We thank you because you've enabled us to have another day so that we may have our youth service. Dear God, I pray for everyone who is listening to us, uh, whichever means they are, us uh, they are using to, and we pray that you may help us to listen to your word, help us to have a very nice service, oh God, and we pray that you may be with the preacher so that he may bless us today. And it is in Jesus' name do I pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Um, our theme today is, uh, are you feeding your spirit? And the call to worship comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 3. And it says, So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know that he might make you know that, the, that man shall not live on bread alone, but man, lives every, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Uh, and that is our call to worship. I will now invite the praise and worship team. Boom! 
baba tunakuja mbele zako tukisema wewe ni Mungu na hakuna Mungu kama wewe hakuna Mungu mwenye anaweza linganishwa na yeye Mungu baba you come before you kama si ni wenye dhambi Mungu uweze kutusamehe ukaweza kutusamehe makosa yetu baba may you cleanse us all lord father we dedicate this day before you god it's not by your own knowledge or our wisdom oh lord father may you guide us may you protect us god father we want to dedicate our youth before you god maitaji yao their needs god back at home father the others who are jobless god others they are going through hardships and struggle god but god you know that you are god and there is no one can be compared to you father even during this period of corona god we are praying that god you will come through for us and you will fight for us god for we know that we are not the head and we are not we are the head but not the tail father we are the conquerors and we are praying for the preacher god as he is coming to preach your word god may you guide him protect him for it is jesus name i pray trust him and believe it amen uh, thank you our praise and worship team for uh, a very nice uh, worship and praise session uh, it is now time for presentations We proclaim you now of your mighty power and your awesome majesty. Lord, come upon us now and release your power and let your Presence for Lord, we proclaim you now oh, your mighty of your mighty power and your awesome and your majesty. Awesome majesty. Say, say, say now.
It is time for announcements. Um, I would like to remind you that we do have a Bible study every Tuesday on Zoom. Uh, our youth coordinator, Kevin, always shares the link on our K-South Finest group and also on the leaders platform. Please purpose to attend. It is a very, very nice session. Um, secondly, um, we have a wedding announcement from one of us, uh, and I'll just read it as it is. Wedding announcement. We would like to announce that Francis Washira Wahome, a member of PCA Karyubangi South Church, would like to marry Catherine Gaduya Kangao of PCA Gedafai Church, Kinangop. If there is no objection raised, the two will be married under the Christian Act on Saturday, 11th July 2020 at 11am at PCA Karibangi South Church. May God bless the two who are looking forward to exchanging their matrimonial vows. Yours in Christ, Reverend George K. Wamani. At least we have some very, I must say, fantastic news amidst... Um, what uh, this coronavirus pandemic, so we pray that their day will be good and they'll have a blessed marriage. I'll take this chance to welcome the reader. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, my name is Margaret Awetima. I'll, th I'll take you through the reading today, which comes from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 16 to 25. So let's read. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For this oppose to each other, to keep you from doing the things you want to do. Verse 18, but if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, adultery, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissension, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like this, I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Verse 22, but the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. In the last verse, if we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. And that is the word of God. Praise be his word. Amen. Buenas I hope you are well when you are at home and listening to us from home, and I hope the Lord has kept you through the week uh, since you listened to us again on Sunday. Uh, we, we thank God that he has kept you because we believe in faith that, that he's sustaining you. We have an exciting topic today, are you feeding your spirit? And it's a reflection that is, that is good to have especially during this season. Uh, the government and friends and companies have, uh, and individuals are very quick to try and address the issue of hunger because some of us now we don't have jobs and maybe we are not able to, to buy food because it's an essential thing that we have. It's a basic need in our lives to have food uh, and because we are not able to live without that. And our reflection today is that what is happening to our spirit, just like we are trying to take care of our physical bodies, 
are we taking care of our spiritual bodies? Because when we, we don't have food, we starve. And we, we can now be dying of food uh, and maybe no longer have a major problem with corona and now maybe have a major issue with, 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 uh, with our nutrition. And also at the same, when we don't feed our spirit, we'll have a crisis. We'll have a crisis because our, our spirit is, is going to suffer. And, and our flesh is what will be exalted. Where we have read from the book of Galatians, it's talking of two things. It's talking about the, the, the flesh and it's talking about the spirit. And it's saying that these two, two things are always against each other. One is ruling. And you know, in our lives, one is always ruling. It's either the flesh that is leading us or the spirit that is leading us. So it's either of the two that is guiding our, uh, that is guiding and leading our actions and everything that we do. And both of them have consequences. There is what they produce. You know, when I'm walking in the flesh, there is what the flesh produces. When I'm walking in the spirit, there is what the, the spirit produces. As we've been guided from the book of Galatians chapter 5. In Matthew 7 verse 16, it talks about that you will recognize them by their fruits. He's talking about the false prophets and he's saying that you recognize these false prophets by their fruits. You know, uh, uh, grapes are gathered from, uh, are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from distos? So every healthy tree bears good fruit. You know, every healthy tree produces good fruit. You cannot have a healthy tree producing bad fruit. And therefore, whatever is inside, whatever we are feeding, if you are feeding your spirit, it is going to show by the, by the, by the fruits that you are producing. If you are feeding your, uh, the flesh, it's going to show uh, by the kind of fruit that I am producing. You know, recently, we've been having this news about the, 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 the kind of things that young people are going through. And you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fruit of our actions. It's a fruit of the kind of things we are, we are celebrating. It's a fruit of the kind of things that we are engaging in. And it's showing by our actions. You know, when it's, 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 the Bible is talking about the, the things of the flesh. It gives an example of what the flesh produces. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger. You know, that's what the flesh produces. When you are no longer feeding our spirit, when you are no longer engaging our spirit, our flesh starts to take over and, and our spirit is no longer able to kill uh, the flesh. You know, even how we are responding during difficult moments, you know, it shows that whether our spirit has been fed. You know, there are times we respond with anger. There are times we respond with disappointment because of the kind of things that you are going through. And it happens when our spirit is not active and our spirit is not being engaged and our spirit is not being fed and therefore the, the, the flesh is responding. And I, 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 I don't know whether during this season your spirit is in a crisis. You know, your spiritual life, whether you've been feeding your spiritual life, what have you been engaging on? What have you been feeding? What have your eyes been feeding on? What have you been watching? You know, is it feeding your flesh or is it feeding your, your spirit? You know, we are in a season that so many young people, it's actually a, a pandemic in itself, are struggling with pornography because that's what we are consuming and we are feeding our flesh. And therefore, it goes down to a lot of sexual immorality, as, as the Bible is telling us, uh, that the, the fruit and the works of the flesh, the first thing it is, talks about is sexual immorality. You know, what, what are you engaging on? Have you been engaging in reading your word? Have you been feeding your spirit? Romans chapter 8, verse 5, it says, For those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit, they set their minds on the spirit. For to set your mind on the flesh is death, 
but to set your mind on the Spirit, His life and peace. So as young people, we need to, 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 to focus on feeding our spirit. We need to focus on, because that's the only way that our spirit man is going to be alive. You know, the devil is working so hard to keep me and you uh, from feeding our spirit. He is strategizing day and night to even keep us in church, but kill our, our spirit, you know, that we can still be in church, active, but he's strategizing day and night to see how our spirit is not going to survive. We can watch movies 24 hours, eh? We can watch series 24 hours. Hata bila kulala. But wakati tu tanza kuwachi hii service yetu, na it's around 30 minutes, ndiyo usingizi na kam, now you have other things to do. You can't even concentrate for just 30 minutes to listen to a service. But we can watch a movie and retell the whole story, you know, for many hours. And you know, it's the devil at work that he doesn't want us to consume the things of God. You know, because other things are very easy to do. They're very easy to engage in. You know, you, know, you can read a novel, with, you know, for a, a, a big novel, but it's very difficult to read the word of God. And it's a strategy of the enemy. That even us who are in church, we can be in church, but we are not feeding our spirit. And I, and I hope that our spirit is still alive. And it's determined by how are we feeding it? What are we engaging in? How are we, are we crucifying the flesh? Because the, the, uh, towards the end there, it says in verse 24, And those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. You know, we must crucify this flesh. Because if we don't, you know, it, it, this is what the Bible says. And uh, in verse 21, I warned you, as I have warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. You know, when we engage in such acts of the flesh, that we will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's the ultimate price of engaging with the things of the flesh. So are you a leader? Are you an elder? Are you a pastor? Are you a, you know, whatever you are, our, if we don't continue feeding our spirit, we will starve it to death. You know, if we don't continue engaging with the things of God and feeding our spirit, it is going to be starved. And we are, going, we, are, we are no longer going to have hope in Christ. We are no longer able to produce fruit in the Lord, because fruit, you don't struggle producing fruit. If you are a good fruit, you are a good tree, you're going to produce good fruits. If you are not a, a good tree, a diseased tree, well, so my version says that if you are a diseased tree, you're going to produce bad fruit. So whatever is inside is what you produce. You know, if you are struggling with sin, you're struggling to leave sin, and sin becomes easy, you know, it's, sin has become easy in your life. It's because you're feeding your flesh and you're not feeding your spirit. You know, in John chapter 15, verse 4, it says, Abide in me and I in you. A branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in Christ. You know, unless we are engaged in the Lord, unless we anchor ourselves in Christ, we cannot produce any fruit. And he talks about that any fruit does not, that does not bear any, any tree, any branch, that does not bear any fruit, it will be cut off and thrown out into the fire. I pray that the Lord may help us, that us who believe we will not, you know, be thrown off because we are no longer producing. That you be Christians who are careful and Christians who are going to abide in the Lord so that we, are, we will be able to produce. You know, are you feeling like you are such that you... You are no longer producing. You know, you are more rejoicing in sin than you are rejoicing pleasing the Lord. You are more rejoicing in doing the things that are not of God than you are rejoicing doing the things of God. You more of rejoice watching the things of the world than you would rejoice listening to this sermon today. I call you to the bread of life, who is Christ. He says that the bread of life, whoever comes to me shall not hunger and thirst. And whoever believes in me, oh sorry, 
Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. That's the call Christ is saying, that I'm the bread of life. Feed me, feed in me, and you're not going to thirst, and you're not going to be in hunger anymore. Would we find our hope in him, so that even eternally, that you're going to be with him forever and ever. May Christ be your first voice in the morning. You know, when you wake up, may he be the first voice that you hear through the reading his word. And may he be the last one that you hear. Not Twitter and Facebook and WhatsApp. But Christ, may Christ be the first in the morning and may he be the last in the evening. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you. And we pray that, Lord, may you minister to our hearts even in such a season where we are not gathering together. That even when we are at home, that we have a responsibility to feed our spirit. That you have a responsibility to bear fruit for the kingdom. And your word says that anyone who doesn't bear, much, bear fruit, they'll be cut off. Lord, would you help us that you not be cut off, O oh God. That you continually bear fruit for your kingdom. That when you come back, you find us faithful with what you gave us. You find us people who are producing. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, we thank you so much for participating in today's service, and we hope that you are blessed by the word and even by the whole service. We hope to see you next week on Sunday. Uh, let us say words of the grace as we finish. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.